in a, in a, in a, in a commercial or in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a business or, or, or um, organizational context, you know, can we actually find, get the right level of challenge to our thinking? What enables us to stop every now and then and say, why are we doing this? Who are we doing it for? Um, one of my favorite <coughs> examples is the use of the touchstone question. And when we talk about a touchstone question, what we mean is, is, is that you know, we, it, it's a question that enables the organization to look at its value, to, to, to look at what it's doing and test it against its values. And so we came across the touchstone question a long time ago, 40 years or more, or more ago, when, we, when I, we were doing a book on, on excellent companies, companies that are, are high-performing high companies, people that are, you know, had a, long, a history of at least 10 years of performing way above average for their sectors. And one of the companies I looked at was a company called Clark's the Shoemakers. You know, some of you may be wearing Clark's shoes. Um, and they, have, um, they, they had survived in, in you know, every other shoemaker in Britain pretty much had gone out of, out of business. But they were thriving. How were they doing it? And so I went down to look and I, to, 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 and I went to interview the chief executive and, the, and some of the people there. And we went to the showroom first. The showroom was, a beaut was beautiful. Uh, lots of money spent on it. You could see that this was help. This, this was a you know, people would come in here and they would buy um, for their for their stores around the world. And then we went out of that building into a, into a little building next door, and this is a, a, a small village in the in the, in the in the in the Somerset countryside in the west of England. And um, and we and we went up the stairs and they looked a bit creaky, but it's fine. And we step into a room about half the size of this one, um, which is the boardroom. And I stopped in the doorway with amazement um, because it was a total contrast. There were holes in the carpet. There was plaster <laughs> falling off the walls. You know, it was clean, but the, ta you know, the old table in the middle was scratched and battered. The chairs were well, obviously once very expensive chairs, um, but the stuffing was coming out of the chairs. And I, just, I was amazed. And the chief executive said, ah, he said, you're noticing the contrast. Yeah. He said, you have to remember the company question. And I look stupid and he says, but does it sell shoes? Says, yeah. When we want to spend money, says, we, we, we have to ask, ask, we ask ourselves the question, does it sell shoes? Says, if, we, if spending money on the employee welfare, on training, on, you know, on, on keeping our employees engaged and retaining them, that, that sells shoes because it gives us better products. Yeah. But money on the boardroom? We've never been able to come up with, with, a, with, a, with an answer that, that that would actually help us. To, uh, to sell shoes. He says, so, does it sell shoes? No, it doesn't. We don't spend any money on the boardroom. And, what, <coughs> and, and you know, having those kinds of questions, I mean, just, just reflect for a moment. What would, the critic, what would the touchstone question be for your company? What would the touchstone question be for your function, for, your, for what you do? I think that's quite a challenge. And it's this kind of supportive challenge, get, helping people, get, let's get back to the basics. What are we here for? 